What's up everyone, it's Q from Retro Q Gaming, and I just want to preface this video with a little quick... I'm not biased in any way towards anyone's, you know, preference or sexuality or whatever, so it is what it is. So I'm just putting it out there before I start this video. But, what happened last night, I was lying in bed... Wow, well, that's not a good start to the video. <laughs> but I was lying in bed, surfing around Twitter and just the general internet at like 3 in the morning because I couldn't sleep. And I came across, well, when I when I was looking at some of my, my usual Twitter people and all, I came across the DC Comics Twitter that was currently having a, a conversation. So I decided to read up on it and see what, what they were talking about because... Well, it's DC, so why not? Well, according to Jimmy Palmiotti and Amanda Connor, who are two writers of the Hardy Quinn series, they have now come out and officially said that Harley Quinn, and to an extent uh, Poison Ivy, are officially bisexual, and it's considered canon. Now, I have no problem with that. I know there's tons of people out there that are going fucking crazy over it, but it just... Yeah, you know, people are just going. You know, you know how people are; they're just nuts. So I have no problem with that anyway. But the reason I'm, I'm just going to give a quick little backstory on this, uh, on the characters, if you will, and why I made this video. So, okay, Harley Quinn was first introduced in Batman the Animated Series, a, the series that I grew up watching. So I'm, I'm pretty familiar with Harley Quinn. I haven't read all her stuff. I've read a bit of it. But I haven't read completely all of it. But ever since Harley Quinn's inception, since the Batman the Animated Series in the 90s, and a bunch of stuff since then, it's always been heavily hinted at that she goes both ways. So, I mean, it's usually hinted... Well, it, obviously you've got her, her male counterpart, which is the Joker. You know, they've got a big abusive relationship thing going on. And it, it, I'm, I'm not going to get into it because it's... It's not really the focus of this video. I'm just giving a quick little backstory. And, you know, it's also... There's even... It's also pointed that, you know, her and Poison Ivy have a thing going on. And there's been numerous comics about this... Involving this kind of thing. There's been ones with, say, her and Poison Ivy. There's ones with conversations with, say, her and Batgirl. There are... There was even an episode in... Um, in Batman the Animated Series where the two of it, because usually obviously it's about Batman and you know him foiling villains and stuff and one of them in the original the, the animated series is Harley Quinn has had enough and her and Poison Ivy just go out on the town tearing shit up in Girls Gone Wild style. That sounds really wrong but the two of them go crazy and uh, crazy is a bad word they they just they they tear shit up that's it. They're, they're girls together. They tear shit up. So it's always been pointed at and hinted at. And a lot of people will say that it's like, well, you know, they're just jumping on the bandwagon to, you know, to be politically correct, to get people on their side. But ever since Harley Quinn's inception, it's been a, it, it's been a recurring theme about her character. Now, Poison Ivy, on the other hand, we're not sure of, but the fact that she basically oozes sexuality and she actually gives off pheromones it's part of her poison ivy persona if you will her abilities she gives off pheromones that basically she can make almost any man do whatever she wants short of say batman and his fucking iron will uh, it's a little bit unclear if it works on women but I, it doesn't seem to be in in practically every iteration that it's ever shown with her and harley quinn that it just never, it's never implied that that's what it is. It, it's always seems to be a, a consensual thing that they're both into. So that's basically it, anyway. Um, I'll read out the quick, a quick couple of tweets that I gathered up from the official DC Comics Twitter from last night. Uh, so DC Comics had to say, "It's like yes, they are girlfriends without the jealous of monogamy. We love that they are best friends ever. Ivy's Harley's rock." And when Harley falls in love, she falls in love hard and loyally, no matter who they are. So, that's, that's you know, that's pretty much the, the end of that part. I will actually, I'll add in one other little thing. Is I'm not adverse to people writing, say, you know, not just in comics, but comics, TV, cartoons, anime, games, whatever. 
I, I'm not adverse to people writing in gay or bisexual or whatever kind of characters, just as long as it's not used hackneyed and just for the sake of it. I mean, because, I've, I, like I said earlier, um, it, it's basically been in the Harley persona and the Harley character since the beginning. And now, okay, it's officially said and it's officially canon, but you know, it, it the fact that they didn't, it seemed, it's not like they just threw it in out of nowhere. It's not like there had never been anything hinted at this, and it makes perfect sense for Harley, for her character, and I think it opens up a lot more good story and plot points and potential story because of it. Now, you've got other other situations where, I don't know, they could just, we'll just use it as, as a perfect example. Batman has always been a, a model of, if you, model, a model of, based on everything we've seen on him, he's basically a model of heterosexuality, if you will. And because of that, if they were to just out of nowhere tomorrow make Batman gay, it would it would feel hackneyed and it would feel like they were just pandering to be politically correct. And it could potentially hurt the story in the sense that because it's it doesn't make sense for the character as we've seen it, you know, it, it just it wouldn't fit and it wouldn't uh, it's hard to describe that. It just it, it it would be done just for the sake of it and it would it, it could potentially lead to bad writing and bad situations and just overall a bad experience for the reader, viewer, or gamer. Now, okay, that went on a little bit too long, so I'm going to get to the actual point of the video. Is So now that Harley and Ivy are officially canon, now they don't, obviously they don't have to be together all the time, uh, that they, it's just been said that they've, they have been and it's still considered canon. I'm curious to know if any of this we will see in Batman Arkham Knight. Now, again, I have no problems if we do see in Barkham, Bar Barkham Knight, in Batman Arkham Knight, I, I have no problems with that. I'm just curious. It just, it seems the timing is, is very strange. The fact that, I mean, here we are 10 days before the Arkham Knight release and it's officially said. Now, you know, I, I'm, if, if that's a, if that's intentional that they, they said it now to, kind of hint at something that might be in the story, that's fine. If it, they're just talking, say, comics and canonicity, if you will, uh, that's fine. So I'm just, it's just, it it registered in my head. I was like, well, I wonder if we're going to see any of that in, in Arkham Knight. So we'll find out anyway. I am I was thinking about tweeting Tara Strong, who is Harley Quinn. At the, she's the, the main voice of Harley Quinn at the moment. And I was going to ask her about it, but chances are she won't be able to say because, you know, non-disclosure agreements and all that kind of shit. And not to mention potentially spoiling something on a game, even if it wasn't covered in a non-disclosure agreement. But we'll see. Again, I have no problems with this. I, it fits perfectly with the character and it will probably open up more, you know, more... I won't say story, but um, it opens the character up more and it, it, it basically explains Harley more. So... I'm always interested on on that anyway. Um, we'll see how it is. I registered my uh, my Batman Arkham Knight code there like two days ago. A friend of mine bought a GTX 980 under my advisement, and he only wanted it for Final Fantasy XIV Heavensward. So he gave me his Batman code, which was pretty cool. So oh, I was going to buy Batman on a PC anyway, but he gave it to me, so I'm not going to complain. So quick shout out to one of my friends and subscribers who's on this, to Zonax, who gave me his Batman code. Brofist.jpg is all I can say. So let me know in the comment section below, because this is the end of the video, what you think about the whole Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy, official canonicity thing. And just, if you want to just talk about it from the, co the comics or TV shows, series that's cool if you want let me know as well what you think about it on the on the aspect of say being potentially in the arkham in arkham knight we'll see anyway 10 days from now when the game actually releases we'll see how that goes let me know all that in the comment section below anyways hit the like button hit the subscribe button you can follow me on twitter details in the description below thank you for watching and i will see you on the rest of the videos in my channel